But, you know, while I have you, there is something that I've been wanting to talk to you about. Your job um, at the parking garage, I mean, I think it's great that you have a job in this day and age. It's amazing. But um, <laughs> I kind of feel like maybe it's not utilizing all your skills. You have a lot more potential maybe than you realize. And it could be good to branch out. You know, James, my friend, um, you're going to meet him at brunch. He's amazing, but he's in med school. And maybe he'd have some ideas for you, you know, for a new career option. Or just something fun. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, just food for thought, you know, something for you to think about. Um, but, anyways, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I think butter might be the most controversial condiment. Like it's uh, it's bad for you, it's good for you. Don't put it on toast, but put it in your coffee. It's crazy how this creamy, delicious substance can cause such an uproar. But butter isn't a condiment. Sure it is. You add it to base foods to make it taste better. It's a spread. You, you spread it. <laughs> Spreads are, are just a subcategory of condiments. Condiments go on meat. Butter goes on bread and bread-like products. Lana Oliver. Back me up over here. Sorry, what? Well, personally, I've always considered butter to be its own category. Fair point. Okay, but where does jam fit into this? Mm, yeah. It's just jam. I beg to differ. <laughs> All right, if it's just jam, what about marmalade? I don't think we even have time for marmalade. marmalade. We don't have time to talk about we marmalade. We absolutely have time to talk about marmalade. <laughs> That's a whole other day for, for, for that conversation. No. Guys, guys. This is the most fun I've had in months. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously? S seriously, yeah. Medical school's kind of stolen him from me. <laughs> she's, she's right. <laughs> I'll be right back. Are, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Can you get me another mimosa? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Hurry! Faster! Faster! Sorry, the door's look, look at here. Glad to see you! Hi, alright, uh, let's go. What am I saving you from exactly? Brunch. Brunch? Why don't we go back in? Alright, well then take me somewhere. Uh, okay, uh, turn left up here. You got it. Didn't this place used to be a coffee shop? Uh, yeah, we studied here once. <gasps> right, the one time we actually studied. <laughs> well, in my defense, women's lit was mostly comparing Bechdel, Atwood, and Wolf, and pointing out mansplaining in social settings. You should have doubled in theater and marketing, like I did. No way. Theater and women's lit was perfect. I was going to be a feminist playwright, or write my own one-man show. <laughs> yeah, I know. We literally made vision boards about it. So what's stopping you? Nothing. Is it... love? No, definitely not. Um, Lana and I have only been dating for a few months. We're not really serious. You went to her brother's lame-ass brunch. That's love. No, definitely not. So then what are you doing? Um, honestly, I don't really know. Uh, 
we started as friends. We we'd been we got coffee once and we just never stopped hanging out. And then we were out with her dad one night and she introduced me as her boyfriend and kinda liked it, but now it's just this colorless blob of a relationship. How's the sex? Polite. That was a very quick answer. <laughs> maybe you should swing back the other way for a while. Yeah, maybe. Um I don't really think I want to be with anyone right now. I should tell you, um, when I saw you the other night, I was truly excited. I haven't felt this way in years. You sound like a six-year-old creeper at a nude beach right now. Yeah, I was uh, roused. Aroused. No, roused. <laughs> Awakened, excited. Not everything exciting is sexual. And according to your sex life, not everything that's sexual is exciting. I shouldn't have said anything. Said anything. Oliver, I was kidding. It, it's okay. Uh, I should get this. Hey. Hey, I've been calling you. Where, where did you go? Is everything okay? Where, where are you? Sorry, I, I just... Uh, sorry I left. I, I needed to do something for me. Wrong? No, no, you're great. I just, um, I needed to go and I didn't know how to tell you. You just left me. I know, I'm sorry. Oliver, you didn't have to come to brunch. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. And if you had had other things to do, I would have understood. But I couldn't say no. Yes, you could have. There will always be a next time. Can we talk about this later? I gotta go pick up my dad. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'll call you later. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. Can I show you the spot downtown? Yeah, sure. Let's go. All right. Fuck <laughs> <laughs>